Hey guys, this is Coach Chris from Burbank Roller Hockey, and I'm here today to do the uh, Hockey Skate Lace Show. A lot of people ask me questions about how to lace your skates, what type of laces I should use, the size of my laces, yada yada yada. So I'm going to kind of do a little bit of myth busting and, and talk to you a little bit about your laces today. So there are two basic types of laces. you got your standard lace, which comes available with every hockey skate. It's just a real flimsy lace. As you can see, it just moves real freely. You can tie it in all kinds of knots. Just a really, really easy lace, available at any local shoe store. Now this is your typical ice hockey waxed lace. You notice the difference in it, just the rigidity of it. it it's just a stiffer uh, uh, lace. Now I've got uh, my skates right here. They're, they're laced with the uh, breast cancer awareness pink waxed laces. And the way that I lace my skates is the way that I think is the best way to avoid lace bite and to get your skates the tightest. I lace them from the outside in, through the eyelets and I lace them uniformly so that it's always the exact same pattern over under, over under, over under. So the key things about lace bite when you're talking about this, the lace bite comes from your lace being up against the tongue of your boot putting pressure on your ankle. Now the way you avoid this is my, my pressure here doesn't actually come from the inside lace. The pressure comes from the outside and it pulls the boot down not necessarily the lace itself because the next time this this lace goes through this boot it's going to go over the outside and it's going to clamp that boot down now a couple of guys from the uh, older series of hockey they know the, uh, the old school way to uh, to add movement and create some space for your uh, toesies in there to prevent lace bite you basically create a loop which allows your lace to go back through. Got my loopy here. Got my loopy on the other side. So you take your lace from across, go through the loop, take your other lace, put it through the loop. Pull it tightly. Tightly. That is the other way you can go to get a little bit more tightness with zero lace bite. It's actually pulling from the outside. Once again, it's pulling the boot in instead of putting pressure on your foot itself against the tongue. So the common mistakes we see when people are lacing up their skates is they always lace them from the same way they do their tennis shoes. They do them from the inside out. And as you can see, when you lace from the inside out, I'll show you in a second here. So I'm going to lace this from the inside to the outside. Side outside. Now as I pull this down, it's pulling on the outside of the boot to make it tighter. But on the inside here, if this is my if this is my foot, this is where the lace bite channel is going to be. Look at this. As I pull that, it's pulling on my finger long before it pulls that boot in tightly. That's how you get your lace bite. It's going to pull on the inside of this tongue and put pressure against your foot as you're trying to pull that boot outward. The inside of that lace is what's really going to pull on your foot. That's why I lace my skates from the outside to the inside. I pull pressure on the boot rather than on the tongue of my foot. All right, I hope that uh, answered all your questions and uh, gave you a little bit more insight to the way that we lace our skates. Uh, you know, you can feel free to check out my other videos. I'm Coach Chris from Burbank Roll Hockey.